Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. If you already own on One Photo Raw 2021 and you purchase No Noise AI, I'm sure you noticed that No Noise AI doesn't get integrated into On One Photo Raw 2021 like, let's say, Portrait AI did once it was available. Curiously, it also doesn't get installed as a plugin into On One Photo Raw 2021. That's something you have to do yourself. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, to begin with, you need to be in the Browse module of On One Photo Raw 2021. Now, once you're in the Browse module, you could be in Grid View like I am now or Loop View. If you hit the E key on your keyboard, you're in Loop View. Hit the G key, you're in grid view. Doesn't matter as long as you're in the browse module. That's the important part. Then what you need to do is just right click right on the image. You can see this little menu cup comes up and then towards the bottom are the plugins and you can see that it has send to all these different applications and no noise AI is not listed there. So to get it listed there what you have to do is the first time you ever try using it is go down to send to other applications. Once you do this once, it will show up in this list from that point forward. So we're gonna go to send to other application. Then what you have to do is navigate on your system to where your apps are. On a Mac, they're in the applications folder and you wanna go down to find, just you know, find no noise AI, which I'll try to do. Um, here's On One No Noise, and there's the app right there, On One No Noise AI 2021, and just open it. And it's asking you, do you want to edit a copy with settings applied? Now, I, this is a non-processed or unprocessed RAW file. I didn't do anything to this image yet, so I'm going to send the original. Uh, why make another copy? And I could s keep working with a RAW file as long as possible in my workflow. So we'll stay with that. And there's a little expose triangle. If you click on that, if you did edit a copy, you'd have a choice of sending it as a Photoshop, TIFF, JPEG, or so on. But I'm going to stay with the original raw file and we're going to click edit. Now it will take this image and it will open up into on one, no noise AI. And then I could remove noise. Um, this photo has been edited with another version of one application and it's saying it's not compatible with this version. Now, I'm not sure why that is coming up. This image is totally unedited. I never edited it in any application, much less any previous application of On One. but we'll just click OK on that. All right, now it removed the noise. If you look, there's before and there's after. And you could see, particularly like in this dark area over in here, there's a lot of noise, a lot of noise up in here. And if I swipe this this way, you could see it did a great job of removing the noise. I'm just going to leave the default auto settings that are there. I'm not going to do anything else. And I'm just going to click done. Now it was going to give me the option of what do I want to save it as. Now I mentioned I want to keep the raw file as long as possible in my workflow. And you do have that option of saving it as a DNG. It's not going to write these uh, no noise settings to the original raw file because everything is non-destructive. It's not going to touch that original raw file. So we do have to create a new one. And the DNG file is a raw file. And you can see you have a lot of options there. Uh, PSD, PSB, TIFF, JPEG, PNG. But as I mentioned, I'm going with the DNG and I'll keep the original uh, file prefix with the .dng suffix. We're going to save it in that same folder it was in. I called the folder no noise AI and we'll click save. And now it's going to uh, create this DNG file with those edits done to it. Now it's, da it's down in um, on one. I have to close physically close down no noise. And if I go to grid view now, of the browse module, you can see that I have the original uh, Fuji raw file .raf, and here is that DNG. And if I go to loop view, 
you'll see once it renders, there's the DNG. Uh, came in a little darker. I did notice that. Let's go to the other one. See? That's interesting. That's something I hope they fix uh, in a in you know the subsequent releases of No Noise AI. Of course, this isn't edited at all. I could go to the edit uh, panel and I could like, bring it up. It's no big deal, really, but it's something you want it. You'd. Oops. Now it's saying this. Anyway, it's bouncing back between these two. Uh, whenever I go to the original raw file, it comes up with that uh, dialog box, which I really don't know what that means. But that is beside the point. The point is now that I have removed the noise in this version or any version from this point forward, when you right click on an image in the browse module, oops, got to go to the browse module, and you right click, you'll see that if you go down, it says sound, send to on one no noise AI. That is now in the menu. So that will be there from that point going forward. So a couple things. I don't know what that warning was. Um, again, No Noise AI is a new app. It's going to have some, some uh, hiccups here and there. Uh, also, I didn't like that when it came back with that DNG file, the DNG file was um, considerably darker than the original RAW file. Um, I've you know, I've used no noise a lot now and then, and I haven't had that happen before, but I think this might be the first time I used a Fuji RAW file. And it might be an issue with Fuji RAW files. If you know, if you've encountered that, let me know in the comments below. But I am going to report that to them as a bug, and hopefully that is something they take care of in subsequent releases of no noise AI. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.